episode three of the Da Vinci Code. You know what I'm saying? We back at it again. And this time in the building, I got a very special guest. A very, very, very special guest. This, this... Go ahead and introduce yourself, bro. Most problematic friend I got. The Dylan. Y'all know who I am. The Dylan. I ain't more problematic than you. Nah, bro. I don't think I don't think I got that title no more. I'm, in, I'm getting engaged, bro. You getting what? I'm getting engaged. Okay. Whatever. Not this year. Not this year, though. Not you, this year. But you in love. Am I? I think I'll be in love every year, bro. You do. I feel like... Probably every month. I feel like... J <laughs> this ain't a podcast. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. I'm not going to say her name, but I feel like her sometimes. Because okay. she always got a new nigga on her Snapchat that she in love with and cooking mac, mac and cheese for. Yeah, leave that alone. But let's get down to the to business, bro. Like The reason why I bought you in here is because I had a, a great question for you that I thought that only you can ask, which is why you here. What's that? Okay. What's the craziest thing an ex ever did to you, like, after y'all broke up? Really? Yeah. You gonna do this. I just asked, bro. I felt like you're the only nigga that can answer it. <laughs> you answer the fucking questions for your effort. Uh, the craziest thing an ex ever yes. did when we broke up. Yeah, when y'all broke up. Like, post, post deep, bro. What, what y'all did. Uh, it was a couple. Of, well, well, probably the worst What was your favorite one? Went. No, I, got, I, I got a favorite. favorite. I got a favorite one. But when a certain ex, mm -hmm. we had a house party, and we was broken up. I love this story. But uh, I'm not gonna tell them the story. But okay. we were broken up, I and I had, you know, a guy I know. He was just in the house floating around, and I was doing some other things. Mm. And uh, she uh, came knocking, and he, he kind of peeked. You know, cracked the door and she kicked the door down. She she kicked the door down. Yeah. She sound like a husky woman. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, she kicked the door down. Came in looking for me, uh, like screaming my name. I was like, oh shit. In a party, cause you know she was loud. Then. It was like a, a gathering. It wasn't a party, but it was a few people. I must say a crime mob on the playlist. So I ran, and I I had my you car parked in the garage. I ran out my room to the garage. Were you a grown man when you did this? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I ran. The, the, my car was in the garage. The garage was closed. So I'm like, okay, I'll get in the trunk. The why I'm doing all this is because we had previous um like domestic issues, so I already knew what time. Previous was. domestic issues? Oh shit. Yeah, nigga. Yeah, so I already knew. Okay. I knew she was ready to fight, so I was like, okay, what can I do to get away? Call and, cops? Uh, no, it was it was too heated at that time. That's that's the that's usually when you call the cops. So when it get too heated, so I ran, opened the trunk, got in my trunk, uh, right. and then I just heard her banging around, banging around, banging around, and then she made it to the garage. Damn! And then she opened my car like, "Nigga, I know you somewhere in here." That what exactly that did she want for her to go on this rampage? I don't know what she wanted. That's, that's a, a good question. question. She's saying women crazy, bro. Say what? You saying women crazy? <laughs> I think that's what he's saying. I didn't say I think, that. I think that's what he's saying. I think he's saying said, women crazy as shit. I said I don't know what she wanted. So she wanted something to be doing all that. She kicked the damn door down, bro. Down. I kicked it down. Okay, I was in the trunk. She left out. I was, I was in the trunk. I was like, yes. Oh, <laughs> yes, she this nigga, this nigga, you remember that movie, uh, Jurassic yes. Park? You remember that nigga they had for the dinosaurs? Like, they don't want to know they moving this shit. That's what this shit remind me of, bro. Like, you run up from a Velociraptor, bitch. I was like, yes, and I was just about to get out. So I had my keys. I took them to make sure to pick my, take my keys with me in the trunk so I could get myself out. Okay. So, she, was, she left, and I was like, yes. And then... She doubled back for some reason. She doubled she's back. A, she's a raptor. She doubled back. <laughs> popped the trunk. Whoa, wait. I thought the trunk was locked. She opened the car door and hit the trunk. This is a, str oh, I'm about to say, this is a strong bitch, bro. No wonder you was out in the fucking trunk in the garage. The trunk popped her inside the car. She hit that. Wow. 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 She really wanted to that horrible look. But, yeah, so she did that. And, mm. uh, what happened next? I was attacked and then. No, I, don't think I was attacked. That's not the story how I know it. <laughs> what? What I'm actually happened? It right there. What's Ryan's attacked. side of the story? What? What's Ryan's side of the story? Because it's not like her side of the story. I was attacked mm. and I defended myself and that was it. How did you defend yourself? 
I did what I had to do. What was, was what? Man, please. You hopped out the trunk. I'm not about to do that. And you got rid of the situation. <laughs> Hopefully she appreciate Look, you. I think I, I think it made her a better woman after that, because now she know not to try a nigga. I was attacked and that was that's all that happened. That was the end of the story. That was the end of the story. That's some wild shit, bro. Like yeah. you had this big muscular bitch chasing you through your <laughs> own house and your making you run to your own garage, getting in your own trunk, having to defend your own self. She must have really loved you. That's not like love. No. That ain't love. Not the type of love I wanna be in, bro. Fuck that shit. <laughs> shit. I hate to mess with them hood rats. After Hold on, they not always hood rats. Like it's become a crazy national thing that Devin love the ratchets, and that's not always one hundred percent true. So a hood rat and a ratchet not the same? No, 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 no. That's a big difference. Hood rats, ratchets are hood rats with money. That's the big difference. That's oh, the difference. okay. Yeah, yeah, that's a big difference. Well, let me tell you what happened with this one hood rat. All right, AKA my son's mom. Um. <laughs> Back in 2015, right, we had everything was done with us. We, we was out of there. It was no more me and her. I was, I was, my mind was gone. Like I don't, I don't hold people. They be like, they, they mind leave before they cheat. My shit was gone, but I didn't cheat though. Cause I'm black. So I got. We, she said she leaving. I didn't chase her. So she get her shit and she go and she takes me back and forth like, you ain't shit. I hate you. Blah blah blah. Typical angry woman shit. And uh, I'm like, bro, leave me alone. Like. Take your shit, but don't touch my TV. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, I still had payments left for that TV, bro. I got that shit from Aaron. So she damn sure gonna take that shit. She's like, man, fuck that TV. It's mine. I'm like, okay, this bitch, okay. I just told her she can have literally everything but the thing that I How said. It was. Nigga, it's a 55 inch TV. Yeah, she can't have it. Yeah, she would've got shot. So, hypothetically, she would've got shot. <laughs> I can't say that on camera. She, hypothetically, she would've got shot. Mentally, I shot that bitch. But, um,. Uh, so I get to the crib. <laughs> so I get to the crib and I'm flabbergasted as to what I walked into. Nigga, my TV was gone. I go to the closet, nigga, my shoes are gone. My clothes are gone. Her clothes are gone. Nigga, my brush was gone. That's what really, I think that's what really pissed me off the most because I didn't give a fuck about the clothes. I was like, why the fuck would she even take the goddamn brush? Like, she don't even use the shit. Like, she got straight hair and she wear wigs. Like, why the fuck she took my goddamn brush? That's what I was mad about. I was no mad about that. So we linked back up, and she apologized, and she had my shit in garbage bags. I didn't get that brush back, though. So I proceeded to change the locks also, so she can't get back in. So she texted me one week. It was like, can I stay at your house? Um, some stuff going on at my mom's house. Can I stay at your place till shit roll over? I'm like, this is a week after she stole all my shit the first time. Mm. I'm like, fuck no. Nah. My son, my son go to my, his grandma, his grandparents house, he can stay over there, fuck that shit, you ain't going in that house. I, my, okay, I worked on the boat, right, so I was gone for about a month and some change. Yeah. I get back, I'm, I'm taking my shit to the house, and I'm thinking about, it's about to be a good old, you know, some chill shit. This went after you changed the lock, you yes. know, came back. Yes. Nigga, I put my key in the hole, and it's not working. <laughs> I'm like... <laughs> Bro, I'm looking around like, I use the right fucking key? Like, okay, I know I paid my rent. I know I paid my fucking rent. It's no let on the door. So I'm, I'm mad as fuck, bro. I'm like, what the fuck going on? Like, okay, so I go to the front office. And I catch the lady in. I'm like, uh, ma'am, I don't know what's going on, but my lock's changed. Uh, I only been gone a month and I paid my rent. What's going on? She's like, huh? That doesn't make any sense. Let's uh go over there and see what you're talking about. So we walk back to the apartment from the rent office. And instantly she like, that's not our lock. I'm like, huh? She like, this isn't our lock. This is the type of lock we use on the door. You see, wow. see that lock over there? Like she put an apartment across. She was like, that's the kind we use. And I'm like, <sighs> change the locks on you, bro. I ain't never felt this feeling before in my life, bro. I think, I think that's what rage felt like. Cause I'm like, this bitch done, this bitch done changed the locks <laughs> through the apartments. She changed the fucking locks. The apartments changed, bro. My nigga. They call the cops out though. This nigga um take about an hour and twenty five minutes to get the you know cops and it's a nigga cop so he pull up he's like what's going on here? I'm like man somebody changed my motherfucking locks that I changed through the apartments. So he he he, he break the lock and then like as soon as he opened the door you can see like where somebody like wood chips where somebody you know, drilled in the motherfucker yeah. and changed it and pulled it out. 
Damn. So I'm just sitting up flabbergasted still, bro. I'm not, I can't believe this shit. It's only one person in the world that could have did this. Because nobody knows where I stayed. So the cop, I had like these upstairs sloping ledge in my apartment. So he walk upstairs. He's like, y'all stay down here. I'm going to make sure nobody ain't here. Bro, the look on his face, I could see it was old shit. Because he was looking around like. <laughs> I'm like, I'm just standing downstairs like, man, what is this? It's a body in there, bro. Like, what the fuck this nigga see? Like, this bitch done killed herself in my crib. Like, I get upstairs, nigga. My sofa's rearranged. It's <laughs> it's condoms everywhere. All my shit gone. And I'm like condoms. Yeah, bro. They weren't open, were they? Nah, it was like a ma a, a magnum. <laughs> it was a magnum box. <laughs> <laughs> it was a fucking magnum box. Let this bitch be fucking all over my house. Like, what the fuck? What the hell is going on? So I go to my closet, brother. None of my shit in there no more. And the icing on the cake was this. How I knew it was her. I went and looked up under the cabinet to see if all my other shit was there. Her house key was above the cabinet, bro. Mm. We even ran it to make sure at the office to see if that was the key that I gave her. That was the fucking key, bro. This bitch changed the locks and left the key on the one place she knew I would look. Wow. Not only did she change the locks, she didn't use the same type of lock. She used a whole different type Nigga, of lock. Nigga, she was like master lock. The drill, bro. <laughs> Drilled the door. We drilled the fucking door. <laughs> this bitch ain't never lift a hammer, bro. What the fuck did she learn how to change a fucking lock? Nigga, I was, bro, I could not believe this shit. I'm like, this, I'm in some like crazy ass Sharon Stone fucking obsessed type shit, bro. Like, after that, I mean, we cool now. I mean, after that, you gotta, you gotta mm -hmm. I mean, I, I just know what she's capable of now, cause she always said, like, if you ever believe me, I, I'll be crazy. Prove my ass wrong, bro. <laughs> Uh, like she was right. Game, huh? I like shit. She was right, I guess. But that's my wildest story. There's so many others, but that that one right there, that's my favorite. Yeah. You gotta have a favorite. That's a good one. The most memorable one. That keep you in check. Like maybe I maybe I'm the problem. But then you be like, nah, fuck that. That bitch stole my drugs. Yeah. She didn't give them back this time. She denied it, said it wasn't her. She denied it. I'm like, you took the, you stole the same shit though, you just left the TV this time. <laughs> Also, in the store, let you know not to go back to him. I don't know, bro. She be, she be looking, she be looking kind of right or something. Yeah, so like when I saw her in court a couple weeks ago, I was like, damn, boy. If I ever got. Did you win? Mm hmm. Oh, I think that's why I was excited. I think that's why I was, so, I was so excited because I had won and she was looking fine. Just for a glimpse of a second, I thought about smashing, but then I remember what all came with that pussy. The slides and deceit. <laughs> Should a Tyler Perry movie, <laughs> but that's the only question. That's the only thing I had to ask you today, man. You know, if you, any of you guys wanna, you know, write us in at mail at podcast dot com. Nigga, what's wrong with you? I've been drinking a lot. Just get it out. Mail at podcast dot com. Yeah. You wanna plug something? Yeah. Are you? I'm, oh, I'm, yeah. I'm gonna have a new episode coming. I got a lot of, I ain't gonna tell nobody yet, but I got a, it's a lot going on right now. I'm gonna drop it on y'all. This got a reverend coming on the show. What you talking about? On oh, your next episode, it's gonna be a reverend. <laughs> Probably a deacon. But yeah, I'm gonna drop it on y'all. That's all I got. Right, Robert Dilly, y'all know my tag on, on uh, Twitter. And with that, we out. <laughs> <laughs>